What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mike's Gourmet Kitchen. I'm Mike and welcome. Today we're going to be preparing some delicious garlic and cream pasta. So it's very basic, it's not like the pasta you typically find in restaurants. It'll take you about 15 minutes to prepare. We're going to be using tagliatelle pasta, some serrano chilies or normal Thai bean chilies, garlic, white wine, basil, parsley, just to make something that people who typically don't enjoy creamy pastas will enjoy indefinitely. But um, if you guys do enjoy the content, please drop a like down below, comment, subscribe. And yeah, that's it. With that being said, let's get cooking. Right, first off, let's grab a mixing bowl. I'm going to use half red onion, remove the end. I'll just put the other half in the pantry. There we go. So, I'm going to cube this up nice and fine. Then we'll do some basil, parsley, serrano chilies, and some thinly sliced garlic, about three cloves. Flat down, give it a nice crunch, it will peel off beautifully. Okay, next up we've got some store-bought serrano chilies. Grab one of these, we're going to de-seed it. Remove the end, spin it down the middle, spin it up with the point, face, point facing upwards. Give it a slight roll. There we go. Some parsley. There we go. And some basil. Alright, so if you guys watched the previous video that we made, oh, well, actually a while back, it shows you how to cut up top of herbs, roll it into a bundle, and just start at the end. Good, nice and fine. Okay, once this water is boiling, we will add some tagliatelle pasta, you could use penne, whichever one you want. But for now, let's head outside while our pasta is cooking. We are going to be cooking the pasta for 7 minutes, make sure it's al dente. Okay cool, so let's grab our pan, into the fire, I'm just using an old um, wok that I normally use in the fire. You typically use it with the bow because it works nice and metal, but get this nice and hot. 
add some olive oil, some butter, and then we'll add our ingredients. The tomato, the tomato, the onion, the garlic, and the peppers. Okay, into our pan. Add some olive oil. And a nice blob of butter. And now our veg that we prepared earlier, give it a mix, add it to our pan. Okay, let's move on to adding our meat. So we're using this delicious clam meat and some shrimp. I'm doing it with my hand, you're probably thinking why. Um, I'm trying to drain out some of the water or the moisture it leaves behind. I don't like to add that to the to the mix. Especially if you're using frozen seafood, if you're not living by the coast. There we go. Oh, it smells absolutely amazing. We're not going to add too much spice and stuff to this. You don't want to lose all the flavor from the onions, peppers, and the garlic. And we're still having to add white wine to this and some black pepper. And then for the last part, we'll add about half a cup of white wine. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's reduced down all the way very very nicely you can see most of the juice is gone the wine's evaporated let's go ahead and add our pasta to the mix Look at a beautiful mixture of shrimp, clam meat, peppers, onions, everything. And now for the last part, the herbs we chopped earlier. Okay, and there we go. Now for the best part of the video, Let's pull it off the grill and give it a taste. Okay, and now for the best part of the video, let's give it a taste. It smells absolutely amazing.
Now that's what I call some really good pasta. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to drop a like down below, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.